Welcome to another Vertimate tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show how to load and save looks, also known as appearances. We're going to use the Create menu for this. We click on Create, and by default, you have the one default scene. Click on that and let it load. Once this is loaded, come down to the bottom left menu where it says Toggle UI, also the U key on the keyboard, and that opens up this menu. In order to load an appearance, you need to select your model, also known as a person atom. There are a couple ways to do that. First and easiest, if you only have one person in the scene, the green button with the two little people here, this is used to cycle through your people and you can click the button or use the N key on the keyboard and it will select the first one it finds. The other way to do it is to simply click on your person anywhere and that will select a control point where you clicked. You then want to click the select root button at the top left of this window and that will bring you to the same menu. Once you have your person selected, what we're going to do is load an appearance preset in this tab here. I'm going to be loading the look I downloaded in my previous video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a card up in the top right for you to get to that video. So you just want to click select existing and choose your look. Now I have one here that I saved earlier, but you can also look at the far left menu here and you can select all flattened or in our case, I downloaded the Mandy package. So clicking on this shows the look that was included with the package. Clicking on this will load that look. And that is how you load a new look. There are a couple extra details to this. For example, if we go back to what we had before, you wanted to keep the clothes from the scene on the model, but just wanted to change the look. You would again select your model, come down to Controls and Physics, one tab, click on the Preset Locks Overview. If you check any of these boxes, those settings will remain on the person when you change the look. So for example, I want to keep the clothing, so I check that box, and then I go to Appearance Presets, load my model, and now you see it loaded the same look with the hair and everything else, but it kept the clothes from the default model. At this point, if you wanted to save this preset, you would come back to this Appearance Preset tab and simply go to the preset name and type in something new. You can name it whatever you like, be as descriptive as you want, and then just click create new preset. It will then ask you to make a screenshot. When you have your screenshot, click the left mouse button and it saves your screenshot. Now, when you want to load a preset, if you come to the very top left option here, it will show the presets that have been saved into your Vertimate folder. You will see I already created this one. I can click on that, but as you can tell, it didn't do anything because in order to change to a preset, with the clothing that came in the preset, you have to go back in here and make sure this is unchecked. At which point you can load this other preset and notice it changed her clothes. There is another way to load looks depending on how the creator set up their package. There's an older version also known as legacy presets under the control in physics one tab, you'll notice the legacy presets here at the top, you can load a look. Now, there are some looks that come with VAM that are in here. However, I don't use these as it is an older system and I prefer to use the appearance preset tab. That's it for this video. I hope this was useful for you. Please don't forget to leave any comments, questions that you have. Find me on Discord if you'd like to have a chat and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.